It's really important that students have a LinkedIn profile as it's a way to engage with organisations and industries within that social media space that allows them to build connections, build networks, to start to do their research and find out a bit more about the organisation and its culture and the type of roles that it has. And you will even find that some companies even only advertise on their LinkedIn or their social media platforms. So it's so important that you're comfortable using these, these different platforms, understand how they work, but also think about how you make yourself findable. So how uh, the organisation would find you if they were doing a search for someone with your skill set and your capabilities. So I think in terms of what makes a good LinkedIn profile specifically for a graduate, I think as employers, we're very aware that you might not have a lot of experience to put onto your profile. Um, I think the important thing is really just to put whatever you have in there in a good structure, you actually can see it. Often I see that um, a lot of graduates put their um, experience on their description rather than listing it actually on their LinkedIn profile. And that doesn't really help us because it's not searchable. Um, so you'll find this even when you speak to headhunters and, and recruiters and stuff like that, that whatever you put in the description is much less searchable than whatever you put um, as actual experience. Um, so definitely try to put everything on there, even if it's not much, even if it's things like volunteering or um, any roles that you held in student society, stuff like that, that can be very, very helpful for us. Um, another, another, <clears throat> excuse me, another thing I would mention is having a good profile picture. Um, I still see a lot of graduates who do not have um, a profile picture, or if they do, it's not very visible, or if it's kind of from a non-professional context. Um, I know it can be difficult to find time and find um, the right circumstances to take a, a more professional profile picture, but if you can get a, a friend to, to do one of you wearing a shirt, um, wearing your, you know, your glasses or whatever it is, um, in front of a white wall or something like that, that works so much better than, you know, you on holiday three years ago or whatever it might be. So um, yeah, those are some things to keep in mind. There are some key components that, that make a great LinkedIn profile. And, and first and foremost, it's the photo and the banner at the top of the page. That photo needs to be professional. It needs to show you in a good light. Remember that it's a potential employer that's going to see you, but don't be afraid to smile. Don't be afraid to let them see that there is a human element to you as well. It isn't a passport photo or a mugshot, so you can smile and bring a bit of personality to it. The next part of it then with those profiles is to make sure that it's complete. Take a bit of time to work through the, the help tool that LinkedIn provides to complete all of the different sections. From the about you section, where it's gonna be a little profile about what you're interested in, what you're doing, where you're going, what's important to you, what you're passionate about, all the way through to your work experience and right the way down to your skills profile and your education as well but make sure all of those sections are complete. Now, those then that get sort of the, the advanced stage of LinkedIn and really get savvy with it are those that then think about how they can present the skills that they've developed and how they align with the industry or the organization that they're interested in. How to take that job profile, that job description, and mirror the language and incorporate that into your LinkedIn profile. That's really what makes the profile stand out. So complete with a photograph and tailored to the role or the industry that you're looking for. Um, starting with um, actually probably one of the most important bits is actually just having a, a photo. I think sometimes people kind of underestimate the, the sort of importance of that, but I think um, that kind of really just sort of straight away like brings, it's just who you are, brings, brings it to life. So I think making sure you have like a professional sort of headshot photo at the beginning, really, really important. Um, then I think it's, it moves down, there's like an about section to so highlighting kind of what you're um, where, where you're at at the moment, like if you're studying, kind of what you're doing, um, if you're looking for work, um, what you're kind of specifically looking for, what you're interested in, um, but keeping that about section kind of short, snappy, but personal to you. Um, more and more these days, people are using AI to kind of um, create like a, a good sort of template or a base kind of bio, which I think is great and, and is, is a good kind of foundation, but make sure it's uh, tailored to you and like what skills and experience you kind of had. Um, so that's really, that's a good um, thing to do as well. Add um, top skills that you have gained throughout like work and, and university experience. It may be that you haven't had any kind of specific, um, if you're looking for a role, let's say in like finance, you might not have had any specific finance experience, but any kind of work experience can bring um, really useful like transferable skills so things like communication skills working with others just kind of highlight those in like um, it, what you what you've done throughout your yeah, academic and career history um, 
the work experience section, so when, when you do talk about any work experience you've had, highlight the kind of top achievements um, that you've had in those roles as well. So you can you can obviously touch on like what was involved actually in the job, but then if you've like, had an impact in a certain area, like highlight that like impact that you've actually had and what difference you've made in that company. So that's that's sort of really good to, to demonstrate your um, your impact there. Um, and then lastly I'd say as well, just in terms of using LinkedIn it's really it is just fine to like add sort of hiring managers that might be recruiting for the roles fine to add the recruiter that you can see is is um is recruiting for the role generally people in the organization um that are that are doing the actual job role that you're kind of interested in you can just ask them uh, for tips and advice uh, and about what it's like working at the company so yeah you should use it as a professional networking um platform really really useful for that Absolutely, I would say. Um, I think we, we very much welcome um, questions from students. We actually have a graduate program um, where I work, and I think we really do appreciate when students ask questions. I think, again, we understand that you might not have a lot of experience, but at this stage, what we look for is enthusiasm and asking the right questions. So I think if you're going to message an employer, which you should absolutely do, um, bear in mind that of course they don't have a lot of time usually um, so kind of get straight to the business we don't need a an introduction of you know who you are and and where you've been in the past couple of years because if we click on a LinkedIn profile that you've hopefully done according to um, our little tips we can actually have that information so what I would say is very briefly um, introduce yourself and why you're messaging and maybe ask a question that you'd like um, an answer to and ideally take a little bit of time to research what that question is so don't just go in there saying how can I get onto your graduate program if the company has one but say things like you know what are three important qualities that a graduate should have if they want to land a job with you um, so I would recommend things like that and yeah come in with enthusiasm um, try to be respectful of other people's time but yeah definitely go for it the, the worst thing that can happen is that they don't reply to you um, but hopefully they will and then you will be one step closer to landing your dream job yeah I would say as a recent graduate it was someone told me when I was applying for jobs that no experience is silly experience I think that's really valuable when you're building a LinkedIn profile as maybe someone that's not super seasoned in their career or maybe hasn't had a job yet things like your sports team or if you play a musical instrument or if you're part of a society at university um, some really small things like that they can be really valuable and you can take such great skills from them and they're also like a nice personal touch in interviews so I would just say don't be afraid to put things on your LinkedIn that you think might seem silly or might seem irrelevant, it's always relevant and it can always be important when you're applying to jobs.